read me. Anya, are you there? Really hope nobody forgot their iPod. And suddenly the world as you knew it is gone forever. Anya, can you read me? Anya, come in! Anya! All that you held dear, all that you held close, is washed away into the sea of distant memory. I'm sorry, Marcus. Life is cruel. Of this, I have no doubt. But life continues on, with or without you. One can only hope that one leaves behind a lasting legacy. But so often, the legacies that we leave behind are not the ones that we intend. Q Coltrane. No? Can't, can't hear the music. There we go. Okay, there. that is the final battle of Gears of War. That is it. That is the end of Gears of War 2. Gears of War 1 ended with an epic battle against General Ram. And in fucking placable final boss even on fucking hardcore the supposed normal mode of Gears of War fucking hard as hell Gears of War 2? oh shit my mic cut out for a second or my headphones did uh, Gears of War 2 ends on again what probably could have been a cutscene um, uh, the Brumac sequence could have been a cutscene as well, but it's still pretty fucking awesome. Uh, it's also a demonst another demonstration of the swarm logic that they were talking about. Or, I, I don't know what they were calling it again. That's just what I call it, because I don't remember the exact term they used to describe it. But if you noticed, whenever you killed, uh, whenever you, um, yeah, yeah, whenever you killed a locust in those big groups, entire chunks of that group would disappear. So, um, you know, they would just sort of vanish. You know, so there you go. Not a perfect technology, but, uh, it does what it needs to do. It does give a, it gives a epic enough sense of scale. And, uh, now that we're on the ending credits and you're hearing the ending music, uh, special mention should probably go to, uh, Steve Jablonski, I believe is his name, is the guy who composed the music for, uh, Gears of War 2, and I have to say he did an awesome job on the score. Uh, it's much better, much, much better than the first Gears. The first Gears of War score wasn't bad, but, you know, it doesn't stick. You know, there aren't any real tracks that, you know, I just kind of remember. But I do remember the ending credits to Gears of War 2. Um, but, yeah, there you go. Done. This game is complete. This house is clear, and Jacinto is gone. 
The humans are now going to be in dire straits because they no longer have a stronghold to call their own. And uh, Gears of War 3 involves their battle, I believe, against the Lambent uh, Locust. The Lambent Locust and the Sires. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a trilogy or a quadrilogy. Maybe... I Ram, Theron Guard, Locust Drones, Sires... Was Ram in here, or was he just in a cutscene? Adam, Adam Phoenix, right there. Charles Coffey. Uh, this is a bit after the credits. It's all, it's, it's all, um, it's a bit Metal Gear Solid esque, but you'll see. Um, but yeah, Steve Jablonski, awesome job on the music. Um. A few stupid things, like the whole splitting up is a stupid is it, it 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 was all it was stupid in the first Gears of War. It's stupid here. It's not as bad as it was in the first Gears of War, though. But you know why split up? Why split up to take on entire waves of locusts alone when you have fire support right there? You know, yeah, it it, it got ev you know it was demonstrated perfectly earlier when he said, "Yeah, let's split up," and we both ended up dying. That's what happens when you run off on your own in the middle of a goddamn firefight. And it's also been evidenced by me, time and time and time again, over the course of this playthrough. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I fared a lot better. I fared so much better after getting some fucking sleep, because I was just gone. You know, I was wrecked. Um... I had recorded for a long, long time, and I was just exhausted. So, uh, it was all blurring together. It was all just sort of, uh, you know, I wasn't really there. And that's why I started dying so much towards the end, because I was just sort of playing the game, but not playing the game. You know, playing the game, but not really there in the game. You know, my mind was, wasn't was where, you know, you like your mind to be when you're playing a game and trying not to die, so... I claim exhaustion. <laughs> that is my excuse. Um, experience. Ugh. Quite a darker story. And Kevin Newton hearts something. I'm not sure what it is. Keith Newton, not Kevin Newton. Um, uh, much darker story is another thing they were talking about. It was going to be a darker, more personal story. And it is true. Um, Gears of War 2 is very much Dom's story. Uh, the first Gears of War was about Marcus, pretty much. You know, here's this guy, uh, you know, his father left something behind that can save everyone. Here is this, um, soldier who has been disgraced, and here is him, uh, you know, being brought back into service, uh, to complete what his father started. That's Gears of War 1. That might be looking a little bit too far into it. Uh, that might be a, give, making Gears of War 1 a little bit more complex than it was, because it really was just, you know, here's some shit, here's a gun with a chainsaw on it, go to work. But, uh, you know, that's sort of that's sort of what I think, what I feel like Gears, Gears 1 was. And Gears 2 is basically the Dom show. It's Dom's story. And it's a good story, I have to admit. Um... As much as I hate Dom, and I do, uh, that, and the screen just went dark because I'm not touching my controller. Touch, 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 touch. The story in this game was very good. Um, Dom gets me killed a lot. I hate him because of that. Now it's all my fault. What is your fault, Scott Bigwood? What is your fault? Tell us. <coughs> ben Cheney has nothing to say. He has nothing to say to you, worms. Or your people, but your people worm. Your worm people. We're not that. We're all just people. Why can't we all just get along? I have no idea where I'm going right now. I'm just sitting here listening to the credits.
Samcon. Samcon. Sounds almost like a supervillain name. Almost. Sounds like a robot name. Like if your name is Samcon, you should be a robot. But that's a developer. So it's not a it is not a single entity. I wonder if it's HP. Fuck you, HP. Fuck you, Hewlett Packard. Hewlett Packard can kiss my ass. Fucking Hewlett Packard. Ugh. I'm the source of so much aggravation. I'm sure there are good Hewlett Packard machines that have been made, but I've never met one, so I wouldn't know. Um, let's see. Testers! Mark Rain also has nothing to say. He's going to smile into the camera and make plans to quietly kill us all. And Jay Andrews is, a, is his accomplice. He doesn't want to get too close to all the people he's going to be asked to murder. Or not. I could be making that up. But you have no way to know. So sleep well tonight. Ha 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 ha. Dana Kelly's picture is way too bright. Sherry Christie. I got nothing. I don't know. She has nothing to say. She has nobody to thank. Fuck you. You think I'm going to thank all of you? And Richard Halzvinsky, Zinsky, whatever, thinks this is God's work. Because cleanliness is next to godliness, is next to chainsaw rifleliness. We all know that. I made friends with a dog. That's more than I wanted to know about you. So yeah, there's no Coltrane rap here. It's a little bit dis disappointing, but the score makes up for it. And here we go. This is Adam Phoenix. Is there anyone out there? Can you hear me? This is Adam Phoenix. Can you hear me? What have you done? Um, we destroyed humanity's last refuge in an attempt to save everyone. Okay, there you go, peeps. There's Gears of War 2. Done. Finally. God damn it. How many hours of footage am I going to have to sit through to edit this? Okay, so solo, co-op, same things. Training Grounds takes, um, you do an Xbox Live. Um... And basically teaches you uh, the ropes of multiplayer. Horde is, as I described it before, the predecessor to Halo's firefight mode. In fact, firefight is Horde. It's just, you know, in Halo. Um, you fight ever-increasing waves of stronger enemies, and uh, or ever-stronger waves of enemies, yeah. until you get to level 50 or so. 